Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the weekly recap of what has happened with some of your favorite Anthony Multiverse channels. Now Grand Caliber has finally posted for over a month they did not post. And they don't have Luis anymore. They don't have Ja anymore. Luis was a really important member. At least we were led to believe Luis would be uh, a new star to the gray market Watts dealing business. But he's been replaced by Marco's friend. Um, this is a very interesting uh, individual. His name is Nick. It looks like they're going more the vintage Watts' route. But what happened to Luis? Uh, ja, in particular, the last time we saw him was when he went to visit Alpha Crown after being robbed, after they got robbed. And he was one of the people to give them hugs and, hey, you know, gray market like watch dealers for life. And that was an interesting, interesting idea that they had, right? So no more Ja, no more Luis. You can kind of see the thumbnails don't indicate they're part of the business anymore. And instead we have Nick. Now, will they continue to make videos every week? I do not know. Um, we will see. But they definitely have taken off for a month at a time. And video content has been very sparse for one of the bigger channels at one time. The original TPG channel. Interesting to see. Now we have Rebel Lux, the newest spinoff of Anthony's group, Liz and Darby, of course. And we can see that they have not made a video as of the recording of this video. Uh, they have missed a video, which is basically Darby MO. Darby has missed several videos in uh, TPG lore. And I'm not surprised that even though this is his own company, he continues to also miss even more videos. So Rebelux, uh, hopefully they're doing well. I can only imagine that they may be running out of money and they're looking to pivot and maybe do something else. But uh, it looks like they have stopped posting video, at least weekly videos for the time being. So we had Grand Caliber. They just started reposting videos. They took a month. You can see a month, two months off. And now we have Rebel Lux, who, under Darby's leadership, is also not posting videos. Not a good sign for the gray market Watts dealers. And something that we are going to continue to look at. Uh, the main guy, Anthony, has actually not posted a video in some time, even though he made his channel non-private. And, uh, and he's supposedly coming back December 1st with this new business model i cannot imagine what he's selling uh if not use watches i imagine something used right with high margin maybe airplanes or something that can get back his consignment money uh faster and this is the gray market um when the gray market was good everyone and their grandmother had a youtube channel when the gray market is bad um suddenly your two videographers don't really seem like they are worth the money. Uh, the idea of advertising on YouTube, it will always surprise me because uh, it seemed like YouTube was delivering them customers. And that is very, very interesting for a social media. On the social media side, I don't typically think you can really get that many customers from social media. But um, Anthony, I guess, proved me wrong. And he has shown that in time, uh, he was able to convince people to, based on his YouTube, that they should do business with him. And, and many people copied the business model. Grand Caliber is actually the old channel. Reblox uh, is basically Anthony's best friends and the same videographer. <laughs> I mean, the connections are astounding. Wolverine, right? was uh, introduced on Anthony's channel and it seems like they have a very close relationship with Marco and the Alpha Crown was split off from Wolverine. So from this little little section of uh, TPG, they've created at least five different Watts dealers with YouTube channels. 
and some of them continue to produce content some of them don't anymore some of them are trying their best to stay afloat and some of them are actually doing pretty well i think the rope woven guys if i had to take a guess they're probably financially the best off of the bunch it is definitely very interesting and something where i think uh we can talk about it more in a gen in a general sense the gray market is down. The gray market is, you know, it's down for the count. And people have these very expensive videographers. How long can they continue to justify the marketing expense? I don't really know. I don't think we, I mean, I, I don't think they can afford two videographers. I think that's too much, right? Too much, right? And when you look at the channels, um, are they really that good in terms of like generating marketing dollars, right? If you spent X amount of marketing dollars and Y amount of time, is it generating Z amount of sales? I would guess not. Uh, the watch market business is way, way down from where the high, high was. And it's it's just a tough industry right now. Sometimes you are kind of stuck you know without a paddle down the river and you're just trying to use your hands to paddle way up but the but the uh canoe is not going the right way so which of these five multiverse anthony related watch dealers will survive uh will anthony get back into watch dealing i think he has to based on his branding uh, will Alpha Crown survive their five hundred thousand dollar robbery? And uh, even more to this, uh, you know, which of these channels will grow the best on YouTube? Which of them are the most entertaining? Uh, let me know in the comments below. For me, if I had to rank them, obviously Anthony is the most uh, controversial, right? I would also then say that I enjoy watching Wolverine. Grand Caliber is a little bit dry. I'm not really that much into vintage watches, even though it's nice knowledge to have. I find Drew and Marco quite dry. Um, and it's not like dry humor. It's just like humorless. And, you know, the other, the <laughs> Alpha Crown's obviously the robbery is very intriguing. Uh, but um, Darby and Liz, I, I just think they have the same mindset as the coach where you don't have to work very hard and you're just looking for handouts and eventually the money and the loans and everything, um, everything will be fine, right? You can live in your nice apartment, You can, but uh, when the money runs out, then you have to pivot. And when you pivot, you have to figure out how to make money yeah, so back to my initial assessment as to what is going on here. Uh, I think the watch market is down, and these people are competing for basically the same market. If you think about it, three of them are in the Dallas market. The other two are in, in supposedly in the Los Angeles market. But it is really obvious that the two in the Los Angeles market might be coming home to the Dallas market. And now we have five of them all in the same market together. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. Hi, guys.